So we now know how to create a class which can contain multiple exception handler methods. And we've created at this moment only one exception handler method, which is annotated with exception handler annotation. And it is able to handle a specific exception, which is user service exception. And we have tried returning a string value of the exception message. And we have tried returning entire exception object. And let's learn how to return a custom our own error message representation. Let's say we want to return our own JSON that contains two or maybe five different fields with different information depending on your application needs. So um, to demonstrate that, I will create a new custom object and I will uh, do it inside of the UI model response package. I'll create new Java class and I will call this Java class error message like this and click on finish and this error message is going to be a, a simple plain old java object i'll uh, create a couple of fields here like private um, let's say date and that will be timestamp and one more field private string uh, message you can have uh, many more fields. It's really up to the needs of your application. Let me import date and I'll import it from Java util. And I will encapsulate these fields, create getters and setters, generate getters and setters for both of the fields. And I will format my source code. Okay, we have error message class created. Let me quickly create a constructor for it like this and an empty constructor like this. Okay, I have a constructor that takes in two arguments and I have a no arc constructor. Now I can use this error message in my exception handler class. So I'll go to app exceptions handler. And here, instead of returning the user service exception, I will return my custom class, which will be used and converted into JSON or XML representation. So I'll do error message, error message, new error message. Let me do this lowercase, import error message. And now I'll provide constructor arguments. The first one is timestamp. So I'll do simply new date. And the second one is the error message of the exception. I'll do get message like this. And I'll use now this uh, error message in response entity class like this. And we'll import the date. Okay, let me now save this work and run this application and see how the response entity will change now when I have provided my custom error object. So I will run my application and I'll go back to Postman. And here's our request, HTTP POST request to forward slash users with the body that is missing required fields. And we should get an error message before we were getting entire error message in XML format. Now let's send this request and we should get back a custom error message we have just created with the timestamp and the custom description message we have uh, hard coded in our source code. And if I provide a header, now the representation returned is an XML and I will enable accept header to return application JSON, send it again and we get back custom JSON error message representation. Okay, so this one is also working. Let's continue.